going on YouTube? Global Bells here back with another Series 12 video and this is the Lunala Kyogre team that we made many months ago but have since updated it uh, for the month of August. And again, the, the, the key trademark here is not only the Lunala and the Kyogre, of course, but it is the Assault Best Ferrothorn, which we will get to in a second. But this is a very standard Lunala set with Meteor Beam, Trick Room, Protect, of course, Moon Geist Beam, and, and uh, the Power Herb item. Uh, we made our Lunala a little bit less bulky um, but a little bit uh, harder hitting, okay? Just because uh, back then I made the bulk to survive Life Orb Veltal stuff, but uh, that has since dropped a little bit. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to give up that calc this time and just opt for more damage. Uh, from here, we've got the Grimstar set with the uh, screens, of course, Spirit Break for the stab, and Thunder Wave for speed control instead of Scary Face. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I like both. I like both Thunder Wave and Scary Face. It all depends on my personal preference, uh, depending on the team. And for this team, I decided to go with Thunder Wave. And of course, you know, Lunala, uh, as well as Kyogre, they very much appreciate screens because they're hard to break uh, because, you know, they're already bulky enough as it is. From here, we've got the Thunderous here. So I've I've always liked Life Orb Thunderous. Uh, it does a lot of damage. It puts a lot of pressure. And, you know, teams that have Incineroar uh, are going to have a hard time uh, leading uh, Incineroar against uh, a Lunala Thunderous lead. I, I, Lunala Thunderous as a lead is very, very good. And it's very strong because, you know, you need to put Dark-type pressure on the Lunala. But uh, Incineroar uh, is, is a very good answer for that. However, if you put that against the Thunders, you're in trouble. And now what Thunders can do is go for Airstreams, uh, make Lunala faster, and then we have Max Darkness. Uh, and we're going for that special defense drops. And two Pokemon can benefit from that, one being the Lunala and the other being the Kyogre. And speaking of Kyogre, here it is. Uh, this is our Mystic Water Kyogre, a very slow, bulky Kyogre, but still very hard hitting. You can take a look at our EV spreads here. Uh, and, and you know it's also in the poke face below but the idea here is if you're able to get up trick room and position the kyogre um you're, you're gonna have those hard hitting water spots and if thunderous uh just gets those special defense drops going you know kyogre can fully capitalize that and then you can always go with thunderous kyogre leads as well you know another pokemon that can benefit from the airstream and again you know just being able to go for those um high damaging moves with the speed control on your favor is always very very nice We've got the Ferrothorn here, and again, this is the trademark mon that I, I like on this type of team. <clears throat> we used it before, it benefited a lot. Very good Dynamax option. Most opponents will think you might be a Leech Seed, Iron Defense, Body Press set. They might even taunt you uh, to stop that. But uh, this is an offensive, brave Ferrothorn. So in Trick Room, we're the fastest thing. Amoongus can't do anything to this thing, and Calyrex is going to have a little bit of a harder time breaking it, especially if we can get those Steel Spike boosts going. Um, and then another Pokemon that can go for those Max Darkness special defense drops, you know, and sitting next to Kyogre, you know, just makes it so that fire type damage just uh, has a hard time breaking Ferrothorn. A Dynamax Ferrothorn in the rain with the Solfest, Charizard does nothing to it. All right, I, I just want to say that Charizard does nothing to Ferrothorn if this is a Dynamax Mon with the rain outside, okay? And of course, you know, Power Up, uh, your grass coverage, Kyogre doesn't like Gashin on. Um, and Ferrothorn is very good against that as well as the opposing Kyogre and we also have Thunders for that as well Body Press, so we still um, want that coverage, right, uh, that fighting type coverage And, you know, after Steel Spike boost, you know, plus one or plus two uh, on the defensive side Body Press uh, is going to hurt a lot when the Dynamax uh, is done and over with And you can even make yourself hit harder, you know, with the uh, plus one Max Knuckles uh, Because after your Dynamax is done, Gyro Ball hits like a truck, Power Up hits like a truck um, and just a lot of utility here, and then you still have that dark coverage uh, for the Calyrex, right? The, the Shadow Rider. Last but not least, you got to have Incineroar on this kind of team. Intimidate and fake out pressure, along with Parting Shot. Uh, next, to Lunala, uh, next to Lunala is very, very good because you're able to, you know, help set up that Trick Moment, and then the following turn, Parting Shot into either the Kyogre or the Ferrothorn, uh, and then that's where the fun begins, right? So. That's a team, you know, we're getting close to the end of Series 12. Again, we, we're, we're squeezing in Series 13 content along with our Series 12 teams. Uh, but more on that in a little bit. For now, let's just go straight into the ranked battles. Amethyst, this guy's ranked 50, 54 to be exact. This guy's making that rank one push. Oh no, oh, and it's Rinya's son, yikes, okay. Um, that's not good. So I think here what I wanna do is we can lead Lunala Insin for starters. I don't want to bring Thunderous into this. I could actually. 
technically ring thunders. Thunders would be actually very oppressive for him. Um, like if it's thunders, Kai ogre. I have a slow ogre. He's got Zard. Um, how do I want to do this? If he leads Grimstar, that's also interesting. I think he has to bring Dashard on too. Um, okay. We're trying to trick him up and then bring in Kyogre and Ferrothorn in the back. That's how I'm going to do this. I was really banking on bringing Thunderous, but this will be a game. Rank 50. Right, we're, we're approaching that rank, but... My goodness. It's a rank 50 play, doing playing at 3 in the afternoon. He should be working. He should be doing his job. Zacian Groudon. Okay. Oh, very aggressively. Okay, well, I'm glad I let Ensign here. Uh, because we get to intimidate all kinds of shenanigans. And only one of these things can max. So if I can get Trick him up, I would be very in a very good spot. Now, do you have Gashadon in the back? If you have Groudon, Zacian, is it Gashadon and Zard in the back? That's what I want to know. All right. Okay. All right. Um. So I definitely want the tiara. I definitely do. And I do want to fake out that slot. If he goes into Gastrodon, he goes into Gastrodon. Yep. If he switches, he switches. Oh, he stays in. Okay. Alright. He's going to get some free damage with Prespice Blades. Okay, there it is. P-Blades. Oh yeah, this is my Goggles Ensign. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is not Shuka. I forget my own sets. Alright, there's the TR. All right, there is the TR. All right, now I could Flare Blitz the Zacian. Um, I'm just going to Meteor... I could Flare Blitz. I can just Meteor Beam. A free, a free Meteor Beam. Just in case he goes into, like, maybe a Zard or a Gastrodon. Let's do it. Let's go for a free Meteor Beam. And let's just Parting Shot. Um, I guess into you. Weaken the Groudon. Might switch. Might stay in. Okay, there's a switch. Gimme Zard. Come on, gimme Zard. Oh, okay. Alright, I mean, that's fine too. I'll take a free Meteor Beam into Ensign. Alright. And there's a parting shot. Okay. Out you go. And we have to make a choice. If we go into Ogre now, we could. I don't want to take any damage into it. I could go into Ferrothorn here. Ferrothorn would be absolutely amazing. And if I can KO that instant, that would be very, very good. Alright, here's the Ferrothorn. Yeet! Alright. Groudon with the P-Blades. Alright, so Groudon is actually slower than Lunala in the Trick Room. Okay. That's why he let me set it up. Oh yeah, this is a faster than that one. Okay, okay. Alright, and we do connect on the instant. Now, can it survive? This is a stronger Lunala. Nice! Okay, that's a that's a free plus one boost. So that's very good for me. And now we get all these defense drops. Um, where Ferrothorn can really take advantage now. There's a Zacian again. Alright. Um, no max was committed just yet. So, how do I want to do this? Your instant is gone. And how many turns of TR left? I got three turns of TR. Alright, and I have a plus one boost. Um, I can do all kinds of pressure things and go for a Phantasm over here. Um, he could protect. I understand that. 
and just go for the power whip on this side. And um, the other thing is Ferrothorn is a very intimidating max. So here's what I can do. I'm just going to go ahead and Moon Guys Beam over here and max and go for the overgrowth on this side. Because I think the Zacian just protects here. Alright, no switch. No switch. It might even be a salt vest. I think it's a salt vest Groudon, man. I think it is a salt vest Groudon. Alright, Max Parathorn. In the house. Show me the protect. No protect. Holy cow, he just doesn't care. Alright, fair enough. Groudon takes a lot of damage. Oh wait, there's still terrain. Oh wait, I forgot he can fire punch. <sighs> this was not the best of max ideas. Okay, but he go. Oh, Shadow Claw. All right. Okay, but that doesn't do enough. All right. Here is the Moon Guy's beam. All right. So now we have assumed all weather control. All right, because Groudon just goes down. And where is the Zacian gonna go? Sacred Sword. Oh, ouch. That did a lot. Alright, but we do chip the Zacian here. Okay. We can't have weather control now. Alright, what's coming in next? Is it Zard? Is it in fact Zard? I do have a Kyogre in the back. Oh, it's Gastrodon. Oh, wow. Well, that, that's not going to help him at all. All right, um, does the Zacian protect here? There's two turns of Trick Room. I want to put pressure on the Gastrodon. So honestly, I could just protect this turn, but I do want to chip the Zacian here um, and go for the Max Overgrowth yet again. Um, and then Ky Kyogre can just kind of clean things up a little bit. Because if he protects, then at least I can get some damage on the Zacian. Oh, that's right. He has the max. Oh, does he guard? Oh, Jesus. He can. I forgot he had max. Oh, I should have just took out Zacian. Oh, man. I forgot he had max. Oh, Kyogre's not going to like this end game. Oh, I threw. Yeah, he's going to He's gonna guard. Oh, he did not guard. He protect the, the Zacian. Oh, wait. He might still do it. Unless he is the faster one. Oh, he did not. Oh, overgrowth. This is in terrain. There's no Gashadon that lives this. Yeah, that's that's dead. Okay, oops. Whew. I I thought he would guard. <laughs> what what kind of max was this? All right. Well, there's the Moon Guy's beam. All right, more recovery. Yeah. Gee, holy cow. All right. All right. Um, last turn of TR, right? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, this is it. Last turn. He can't, he can't protect. All right, Moon Guy's Beam. And honestly, I can just Steel Spike. And that should wrap it up. All right. Yeah, wow, we, we just 4 0 this guy. This guy was ranked 50. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of points for this. All right, the power of Dynamax Ferrothorn. Topping Rinya Sun. GG's to Amethyst. What in the world is this? <laughs> oh, oh no, this is Ice Shard and Unburdened Sceptile, isn't it? Oh, and it's Weakness Posse, right? Yikes. And he's got the Zerndon Core on it with Indeedy. That's the correct way to do it. Oh no. How the heck do I beat this? Like... Kyogre can do well, but there's a Sceptile there. Do I screens him? Do I go all offense? Ideally, Trick Room is the play, right? And then just go into like... Yeah, just do this. 
Oh man, how the heck? If he goes with the combo, that's going to be very bad for me. Right? In a way. But I think I have to do it like this. Yeah, we're, we're bringing Ogre in the back. Is it Grim? Or should it be Ferrothorn again? <laughs> Listen, Ferrothorn does well against a lot of his team. You know, I'm bringing it. I'm going to bring it. it. It actually... Other than Charizard, it actually destroys him. I just have to get it in that Trick Room position. Where it can dominate. Alright. Is he gonna bring Charizard and respect the Ferrothorn? We're gonna find out. Zern Indeedee. That is the correct way to do it. Oh, Jesus. How do I beat Zern Indeedee? This is my favorite. I, I prefer Indeedee on a Xerneas team like this. Alright. If we set up Trick Room, we're okay. Um... It could obviously Geomancy break my Shadow Shield. Yeah, there's the there's the uh, Spidef stuff. Okay, Zern Indeedee. So I cannot fake out. That's okay. I can Parting Shot, but I am going to Trick Room here, and I will try and Parting Shot. Keyword is try, or I can Throat Chop, and then Parting Shot next turn. But I will try the parting shot now. Alright. Indeed he protects. Well, that's even better. Okay. There's the Geo. Okay, you got your Geomancy up. So I'm going to click Trick Room and I'm going to click Parting Shot. Like, I know you have a Kyogre. But, I mean, I know you have an Indeedee, but... I have to think. Okay, so this Zern... Gets absolutely wrecked by Ferrothorn. Alright, here we go. So, there's that. Now, who do I want to go into? Do I want Kyogre just to exert um, the Water Spout pressure? I think I do. Yeah, and then save Ferrothorn later? Or do I want to max Ferrothorn now? And get Lunala out of here. Um, cause then we have to force him to click follow me, right? He has to click follow me. And then we can always just max darkness. Okay. So we're going to Ferrothorn here. Okay. Alright, and here is the trick room. Okay. So indeed he just protected. Um, what I can do is I can go for a Meteor Beam over here. And honestly, I could just max this. Um, and just go for Steel Spikes and pressure the Zern. Or I can go for Darkness. I could go for Darkness and just get rid of the Indeedee. I have to remove the Indeedee, right? Yeah, I have to remove the Indeedee. Zern is not threatening. Uh, up uh, at plus one with a uh, assault as Verathorn. So technically, um, we can offset that Geomancy boost with the special defense drop and a plus one meteor beam, and it'll do some chip damage, right? But we have to get the Indeedee off the board. That's the main thing. Zern, ah, uh, Zern protects. So this this power herb is not going to do. It's not going to hit. But that's okay. The Ndidi actually lives. Oh, that's not good. Okay. He didn't click follow me either. He might have to do it now. Alright, expanding force. Chip damage. Alright. So he's gonna block it. Okay, um, what's in the back? Potentially something. Um, I'm trying to capitalize on these Trick Room turns here. So what I can do is, once again, um, I can go for the Moon Guys Beam now onto that slot. 
Can you switch in at all? Not really. And again, force the Steel Spike onto the Xerneas. I think I will do that. Force him to click the follow me button. There is the follow me. Okay. There is a... Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have max overgrowth. Remove this terrain. But anyway, we do claim the Ndidi. Two turns of max gone. Alright. And this will do some damage. It's still technically like plus one. Alright, here's a Moon Guy's Beam. Alright, he does have a plus one with his Fidef. So this will do a little bit of chip. Oh, that's very good damage, honestly. That's very good damage. Moon Blast. Okay, will he get the drop? Plus one, we have a Shadow... Oh, we don't have the Shadow Shield. Okay, Lunala stays in. Does stay in. There's a Frost Lass. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I'm afraid of that. All right, I do want to force the Zern to protect. Um, so what I can do, once again, is... Th is this thing Sash, though? That's the question. Could even ally switch, right? How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two turns. Okay. I think we pressure the Zern again. And just Moon Guy's Beam over here. Um... Yeah, we have to remove it. Last turn of TR. Alright, let's try this. Ally switch. Okay. There is the ally switch. We kind of said he might try that. Alright. So, I take a frost. I don't take a frost last. Alright. If I max darkness... That was probably also a safer play, because then the Moon Guy's Beam definitely takes out the Xerneas. So I got a little greedy here. But here is a Moon Guy's Beam. Oh, Zern goes down anyway. Oh, I get a crit! <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll take that. Sure. Alright, so essentially that was a free turn. Alright, now what do you got? Because I got Kyogre in the back. Oh, it's Groudon! Oh, wow. Okay, well that, that, we're, we're taking that out. And he has the max option, if he so chooses. Okay, Ferrothorn has done its job, supposedly. Okay, and again, he could ally switch. Um, what did I bring? I brought Kyogre and, In ooh, I brought Incense, that's also kind of cool. Um, I can always intimidate the Groudon here. Um, but I don't think I need to quite do that just yet. I'm still going to click the Moon Guy's Beam on this slot. It's still going to do good damage. Um, the problem is the Groudon is probably slower in Trick Room, right? So that's the other thing I have to worry about. And this thing... Oh, wait! This thing has the Ice Shard. Oh, he might Ice Shard the Groudon. And he might Atlas Switch again. Alright, we're going to try this. Try that. And then power whip over here. All right. Cool team. A lot of interesting surprises. There's the Groudon. All right, last turn of TR. We do have Vincent. I don't know if Vincent's going to help me. There is another ally switch. Okay. Alright. So, I will take the Frost Last with a Power Whip. And now, it'll be essentially a 3 on 1. Alright, because I know this Groudon is faster than... Oh, we're, oh, we're faster! Oh, oh, pfft. oh, then this is over! Oh, and we get another crit! Listen, I have been crit so much in, in, in the month of June and a little bit of July that I deserve this. I deserve this. Alright, Ferrothorn, once again, you did- Oh, he crits me right back. Hey, hey, okay, it's fair- <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Hey, hey, listen, if you're gonna play that game, I will very much accept it. <laughs> we'll take that rage quit. Alright, alright, we'll take that rage quit. We're- We're playing Blue? From- From the OG series? 
Oh man, who am I gonna play next? Red? Oh man, Gary Oak, Blue himself. I didn't know he was a real person. Wow. All right. You, you would think Blastoise would be on his team, right? <laughs> All right. So he's got the Ludicolo. Why he has that but no rain? I could. Well, that Thunderous could be Prankster, right? And it could have Rain Dance. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. Very very interesting. Okay. Ferrothorn looks decent. I don't know if I can get him in a position. Lunala looks good here. What if he leads Dialga? I have to stall that thing, right? Dialga would not be fun. Um. Okay. What if I just went like all offense with like Thunderous and Lunala? Would that be bad? Or Thunderous Kyogre, actually. Let's try that. Thunderous Kyogre in the back. Um, Lunala in the late game, and then can he break the Ferrothorn? I think he might be able to. What? But if I can get trick him up, maybe not. All right, we'll try it. Ludicolo. I that that's got to be pranks or thunders, right? With like eerie impulse shenanigans, and then thunder wave. You know, taunt. All kinds of shenanigans they want to run. Grim Snarl Diaga. Okay. So he lets, leads a little bit more standard. I could have let Grim Snarl something. But we're going to try and exert pressure here. Now, his, he, he can just go for Trick Room, right? Um, that being said, I can just click Water Spout. He could also oh wait i don't have brick break on this ah this is the one time where i want brick break <laughs> um max darkness is gonna hurt i'm not gonna lie max darkness is gonna hurt i mean he gets trick room up he maxes the dialga then what do i do in the back i can go into ferrothorn that would be cool i could do that and then ferrothorn can max next to the ogre right yeah let's do that why don't i yeah we'll, we'll just spout anyway see what happens all right, so we're gonna switch, anticipating the potential trick room. All right, he could Dynamax his Ferrothorn and absolutely smash my, okay, he actually does. I thought he would set up the trick room because you know, might think, oh, maybe Airstream, Water Spell, uh, guess not, all right, so I got this wrong. See, this is the problem with Dynamax. You get it wrong and you get punished turn one. Oh no, all right, this is not gonna be good. All right, yeah, we, 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 we totally got this wrong. Okay, there's the trick. All right, what are you taking from me? Is it, did you trick the Kyogre? All right, yeah, he tricked it. Okay, you took my water ball. There's the Hailstorm. Oh, that went into the uh, Thunderous slot, right? Okay. Um, interesting. All right, so not only did it take my Mystic Water, he took away my Rain, all right? So we did some chip damage to the to the Grim Snarl. Um, Dialga gets a little bit of chip on him. All right, I should have probably led Grim Snarl to this, but this is still doable. Um, I may have to go into Lunala here. Okay, yeah, I think we just have, do we have the max? I don't think so. Um, I'm still gonna go for a what is this? I can still go for a Gyro Ball here. And then I could protect the Ogre. I have an Iron Ball. I can probably try and position for Lunala. I'm just going to protect this turn. You know, just in case he wants to damage my Ogre. So we'll do that. If he goes for the Ferrothorn, he goes for the... Oh, what's coming in? Something to probably take... Okay! <laughs> yeah, that's a good swap. That's a very good swap. Protect. That means he might be going for the Ferrothorn. Okay, skill spike. Okay, no, that's into the Ogre. All right, we'll, we'll take that. Gets a steel spike boost into this Ludicolo. All right, and he'll be able to very much resist uh, this, this uh, you know, this gyro ball. Okay. All right, more chip damage onto Dialga. All right. 
Um, I think now what we can do is... Oh, what is this? Is this leftovers? Oh, wow. Okay. Um... So, what I can do is I can double that Ludi... So, he's got Ludicolo, Dialga, Grimmsnarl, and probably Zacian in the back. I see, I see. I think it's important to get some chip damage onto the Dialga here. You could always just airstream. I'm gonna save the ogre a little bit. Um, if he steals spikes, is that bad? It could be bad, but we'll see. I may keep Lunala out for a little bit longer. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll 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 chip the Dialga here. I know he has a steel spike, but like whatever. All right, and then we'll go into uh, the thunders here. All right, goodbye ogre, into thunderous. All right, we just have to stall this last turn of Max. All right, Max steel spike. That's probably going into the ogre again. Yes, it is. So thunders take some chip damage. All right, more defense being activated on Dialga here. And there's a Leech Seed. Okay, good play. All right, here's a Body Press. Yeet. Does absolutely no damage because of the Steel Spike boost. Okay, he's Policy. That's great news for me. Oh, man. All right. That's very good news for me. Um... All right, now what I would love to do... Jesus, he's Leech Seed. So he probably might even just like protect Ludicolo here. But then that's good for me because then we can just do other stuff. How do I get this in position is what I wanna know. All right, the max is gone. We still have our max. I can power whip this if I want. It's not gonna do a whole lot. I just need to try and get Ferrothorn in position or try and get a switch into uh, the Lunala here. All right, we could... Yeah, this, the, we might even just lose both, but I'm just going to keep, keep chipping this. I mean, he already, like... It's already been activated, so I'm just going to click fly. Try there. All right, here we go. Fly away. All right, if he knocks out the Ferrothorn, he knocks out the Ferrothorn. Blizzard! <clears throat> That's going to hurt. I don't know if this kills Ferrothorn. It does not. Amnesia. Oh boy, he's got all the text here. This is a this is a this is a stall Ludicolo here. Oh my goodness. All right, more chip damage on Dialga. Okay. All right, and there's the hail damage. Okay. Um. Now what else can I do? So he probably just protects this turn. Alright, so that makes me think I'm just going to keep chipping on Dialga here. Alright, alright. I don't think that's an offensive Ludicolo. <laughs> alright, so we're going to keep chipping away. And the Ludicolo definitely 100% protects. Yep. Bing! Alright, and... There's our little trap, and he probably just clicks Blizzard for the second time and kills both. Yep. All right. So, everything dies. And now, we have to think. Because now, this Ludicolo should be fast, right? And we got Kyogre and Lunala. Okay. How do I want to do this? Left and right. I have an Iron Ball Kyogre. So, if I can get Trick Room up, I'm in business. I can get Trick'em up, I'm in business. Alright, now would you flip the Trick Room is my question. Okay, now, let's see. He does have a policy, so it is going to hurt. But I don't think it's going to do as much as one would think. So here we go, Trick Room. And if I can try and get off an Ice Beam, that would be very good on the Ludicolo. Because I need to get some chip damage on this thing. Uh, but I would also like to knock out the Kyogre. I don't think it will be enough, but I'm going to try my best. I think I have to go for this. Alright. Alright, there's the Earth Power. How much does this do? Does way too much, honestly. 
All right, there's another Leech Seed. Does miss. All right, Ice Beam. Chip damage. All right, and there is the Trick Room. Okay. So we have this going for us. Um, now, I think we can just Meteor Beam over here. Even if he protects, he protects. Uh, and then we can just, once again... Ah, I might as well just click water, uh, Origin Pulse at this point. It, it's detrimental if I miss. But I'm going to do my absolute best. I think Ice Beam was the better play. Okay. We... The Ludicolo dodges. <laughs> Alright. So at least we hit the, uh, the Dialga here. I don't know if this is enough. Okay, it is enough. Very nice. And uh, we get a free Meteor Beam into the Ludicolo. There's a Leech Seed. Oh, we put it in the Lunala. Very smart. Alright, and here is our Meteor Beam. I would very much love to hit this. Plus one Lunala um, can potentially win this game for me. It all depends. He did click Amnesia. It is going to be hard. Alright. Alright, that did some damage. Alright. And it is Rain Dish. Okay, so it's not the speed one. It's the uh, bulky Ludicolo. Alright, he's doing very well. Now he's going to get extra recovery and he can protect next turn. Um, he might even just see the Ogre. But if this is great... Oh my goodness, that's so much recovery. That's so much recovery. I did not expect it to recover that much. There's the Grim Snarl. And if he can just set up Light Screen, he's in business. Um, but what I have to do now is put pressure on this Ludicolo. Um, he might even just protect this turn. I do still need to go for a Phantasm. Um, we'll try this slot. Okay, and again, we'll try the Origin Pulse. Because we only have so much we can do here. Alright. If he protects, he protects. Yeah, Ferrothorn was a big threat to his team. And I know there's a station in the back. I have to try and, and do this job while Lunala has a max. Alright. So, Light Screen comes out. Yes, we knew that was coming. Alright, Kyogre should be the slowest thing, and there is the Origin Pulse. I think this should still kill the Grim Snarl. Actually, he's going to be close. He did set up the Light Screen. Okay, good. Kyogre is very good. He did some chip damage in the Ludicolo. There was no Protect on that side. Leech Seed missing again. Kyogre is all of a sudden very fast. Here's a Phantasm. That's very good damage. That's not great damage, though. That's not great damage, and he's going to get more recovery here with Rain Dish and Leech Seed. I'm going to have all kinds of fun time trying to break this uh, Ludicolo here. And he's going to get more health with the, the Leech Seed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh man, that's, that's, that's too much recovery. He can just endgame this with Amnesia. Okay, and there's the Zacian. Alright, I would imagine that thing protects. Actually, I think everything protects. Um, okay, what can I do here? I think I have to just put pressure. Do I still go for the Zation? How many turns of TR left? Can I afford to not go for Zation here? Two turns, okay. Um, I don't think he protects this turn. I think I have to just go for it. Phantasm here, that should honestly be enough to kill. And then still... I could protect just so that I don't get seated. I think that's like his best way to recover. Alright, we'll protect here. Alright. Kyogre protects. Bing! Alright. Um, the Zacian does protect. Alright, we got a long one, folks. There's a lead seat. Yeah, I figured he would try this. And there's one turn of Trick Room left. Alright. Phantasm, chip position, decent chip. I, I, I still don't know how I beat the Ludicolo, but I'm going to try my absolute best here. Okay. I don't have any physical moves, and there's more rain dish. 
The Rain Dish is helping him get even more recovery. He's almost full. He's going to be full right now. Rain Dish, Leech Seed, and, and Leftovers. Uh, look at all this recovery. He's, he's back to full. I, I, I can't beat him. Okay. Um, yeah, Thunderous was my best way to like airstream that. Alright, so now we can just take out the Zacian here. Um, and then we have to try and go for a freeze, I guess? Yeah, we'll just try this. It's my best bet. Yeah, he tried to double. Alright. Alright, I would love a freeze. Alright, I don't get the freeze. And he finally seeds my Kyogre. Alright, and there is the Phantasm. Okay, so I have an idea now. Oh, it actually doesn't even kill. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is a bulkization. Jesus. I'm plus one, okay. Alright, uh, I guess that wasn't enough. I probably should have just Origin Pulsed. Alright, well, the rain is gone. Alright. Last turn of TR. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> oh, all these animations are just taking so much time. Alright, Leech Seed over here. He can just get half his HP back in one turn. Alright, Dimensions return to normal. Um, I have to try again. And just protect. I don't think he can break the, the Ogre here, but I think he'll just protect next turn, right? And then all my Kyogre health just goes bye-bye. Alright, yeah, he'll chip damage. This will do a lot. Oh, my, oh, never mind. Oh, that that just absolutely annihilated my <laughs> Okay, well played to our opponent. Yeah, I did not expect this booty color set. Yeah, we, we, we just got absolutely gamed on. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give him this one. Good job to blue. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about what could I have done better. Uh, I guess the origin pulse could have maybe made a difference. But like, even then, eh, it's tough. Maybe Origin Pulse killed the Zacian and then like, keep clicking Meteor Beam, keep getting special attack boost until I can break that thing. Eh, eh, he's chipping away at my health. I didn't think there was a way for me to win. And there it is, folks. There is, uh, once again, one of my favorite teams of Series 12. Uh, the Assault Vest Ferrothorn, I'm telling you, is the secret. Uh to winning the world championships. I, I, I stand by that statement. I stand by that statement. All right. Um, you saw me Dynamaxed it t today. It, it did wonders. We Dynamaxed it two months ago. It did wonders. All right. You saw man be piloted on his channel. He went like 4-0. All right. It, it's a really cool idea. It's a really cool concept. Um, Lunala, Kyogre, Thunders. You know what you're going to get with those three. Uh, but then if you're able to set up Trickum and pivot out into the Ferrothorn, it just does so much. Uh, teams are not quite prepared for it. Um, you know, I was uh, I was a little caught off guard with the uh, the rain dish uh, amnesia ludicolo, <laughs> but who's playing that, right? All right, so de definitely give this one a go before series twelve ends. Um, it's a really fun team. I enjoyed it a lot. I really like Lunala and Kyogre together. Um, we'll be back with another video in the next one, guys. Peace out and have a good one.